and then what the bills for oh oh come in oh my gosh it won yo nah i could do that on this build it's baby food i don't need to do no guard work he little seven two nothing he little Oh crab on a 1v1 court. Now, before you try to skip to the build tutorial, you won't need to, cause I'm gonna show you it right now. But I'll be leaving some live gameplay from my YouTube stream for you to watch after the build tutorial. And if you ever wanna catch me live, I usually start my stream around 7 to 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have any questions, you can always come into the stream to ask. And if you ever wanna pull up on me and play me, you can just search up my PSN and join my stage even if you don't have me added all right so since the build that we're making today is a 1v1 build what you guys want to do is you want to put the position at shooting guard and you want to make the height six seven now for the weight you want to go 233 now the reason why you go shooting guard is because at point guard you won't be able to get this weight so you would have to go to 230 and then put the wingspan down to like 610 so i went with 233 and i keep my wingspan at seven foot you could also go 234 for the weight but it's not really going to make any much of a difference now we're going to do things a little different in this video and we're going to be going backwards so we're going to start with the physicals so for your speed you want to put it up to what 81 and then for your acceleration, you wanna max it out at 77. Now for my build heads out there, you could kind of tell where this build is going with the 77 acceleration. After that, you wanna max out the stamina, the vertical, you wanna put it to a 60. And for the strength, you're gonna go with a 95 strength. Now with the 95 strength, you can see that I only get gold bulldozer instead of hall of fame bulldozer. Now I have a 1v1 build that has hall of fame bulldozer that I'll be showing you after this tutorial. But the reason why I only went with gold is because I still keep all the other like important badges with the 95, such as hall of fame back down punisher, hall of fame immovable, hall of fame physical handles. But on the 1v1 court, the way that I play i'm not really looking for bulldozer animations i'm mainly trying to get myself open to get an open shot shoot a fadeaway midi or to get an open dunk or layup if i am bullying my way into a bucket i'm usually using my back down punisher i'm not looking to just go for a bulldozer animation layup now to get into the good part of the build we're going to be upping our perimeter defense all the way up to a 94 and you're going to see you get badges like gold clamps Hall of Fame Challenger, Gold Fast Feet, and Hall of Fame Workhorse. Those are really the most important badges, I'd say, for the perimeter. Hall of Fame Ankle Braces, to be real with you, if a guard has Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, he can still stun you regardless. But Hall of Fame Challenger and Hall of Fame work Workhorse really help a lot. With the Hall of Fame Challenger, I can kind of bait people into shooting the ball and then getting my contest on them. The next thing that we're going to be upping is not the steal but we're gonna be putting up our interior defense to an 88. And the reason why I went with perimeter defense and interior instead of steel is because on the 1v1 court, basically I made a build before this with only steel and like lower perimeter interior. And with high steel, I kind of have to depend on the game to give me a steel animation when I reach. And you guys know, sometimes you could reach at, a, at like the perfect time and they just still not give you the steel anyways. So I rather go with high perimeter and high interior because with that, I can control the game fully. Like I have the ability to play good interior and perimeter defense. So it's up to my own stick skill to get the stops. I don't need to continuously reach or hope the game gives me the steal in order to get the ball back. I can just get the ball back myself. Another thing too that made me realize I would prefer to do this is that back in 2K20, when I used to play the 1v1 court a lot more, I realized that I never ran pickpocket. I only ran clamps, post move lockdown and moving truck. I never needed really needed to like gamble and reach to get a stop. I usually just allowed myself to get those defensive stops. And you can see with the interior defense of 88, you get gold post move lockdown. So you'll be able to guard most post scores. After that, we're gonna up our block to a 77. So now we get bronze anchor and bronze chase down artist. So with this 77 block paired with the 88 interior defense, 
and the high perimeter defense you'll be able to like cut off a lot of the people that have a 94 driving dunk who are trying to look for a rim run you can kind of bait them into trying to go for a drive and once they try and go for the dunk meter you might be able to cut them off and take them out of certain animations now to move on to the playmaking instead of going for an 85 or an 87 ball handle like how most people do I went with a 91 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball. Now, the reason why I go with the 91 ball handle is because it gives you gold handles for days. And I feel like this is very important for the 1v1 court because once you run low on stem, everybody knows it's really hard to hit open threes, even to hit open mid ranges becomes a lot harder when you have less stamina so with the 91 gold handles for days it allows me to you know dribble a lot more and still be able to shoot efficient shots and sometimes i just want to troll around and dribble the ball however and then go for a shot i don't want to just only take one or two dribble moves and then go for a shot sometimes i want to you know just spam dribble for a little bit and then go for a shot and for the pass accuracy we're gonna leave it at a 61 because again this is a 1v1 build so we don't need pass accuracy but if you are making this build and then you want to grind my career i'll tell you if you want to throw lobs you are gonna have to upgrade that pass accuracy to a 61 like the 25 isn't barely gonna allow you to throw any lobs at all I'm, I'm gonna be honest so now to go into the shooting you want to upgrade your three-point shot to an 80 now i would prefer an 85 or 86 for like silver agent threes and bronze limitless but it's the 1v1 court so you don't really need limitless range as much because the 1v1 court doesn't even stretch out that far so i go with the 80 but what i do to finesse this is i put the mid-range up to a 90 and the reason why i do that is because now you get that hall of fame open looks so i i see a lot of people when they see how strong i am what they like to do is like say i drop step them or i get an open dunk they'll leave me open for a three ball or a mid-range but with this hall of fame open looks it makes it a lot easier for me to hit an open three with an 83 pointer and i still have a 90 mid-range which also has gold midi magician so i can still hit mid-ranges alongside that you still have gold blinders gold dead eye and gold green machine so it's the 1v1 court these are pretty good shooting badges especially for somebody that's just isoing it's not like i'm on the threes or the fives trying to dribble behind the screen and shoot like a play shot now on to the finishing post control we're going with a 92 so you can get that gold unpluckable to pair with the 91 ball handle and you can see you still get post badges like hall of fame back down punisher gold drop stepper hall of fame post fade phenom and you get hall of fame postman technician now this badge right here is low-key a very underrated badge on this game i don't really see people use it a lot but i see myself get a lot of great animations with this and also when you do the post spin towards like the same side that you're dribbling on you get like this little like this fast speed boost out of the post now for the driving dunk and standing dunk unfortunately for the driving dunk again i'm going with a 36 driving dunk i still haven't had to build with high driving dunk because the builder is limited if i could have everything i would have everything but i have to take a hit somewhere so we're going with a 36 driving dunk but for the standing dunk we're going to be going with at least a 73 because with a 73 standing dunk you get bronze rise up bronze fast twitch and bronze precision dunker so this will allow you when you blow by somebody once you get right under the basket you'll be able to get standing dunk animations now i'm gonna be honest with you guys if you go with an 83 standing dunk to get the silver version of these badges you'll get a lot more standing dunks like it'll basically be a automatic but for my build i went 73 and then i upgraded it all the way to 75 and that will complete the whole build as you can see i have 62 close shot and 71 driving layup do i only want that hell no i would prefer to have like a 80 close shot with an 80 driving layup but there's only but so much i could do on the builder i just have to take whatever whatever it gives me so you guys can even see there's no cap in my rap like this whole even the whole of fame bulldozer version i'm gonna show you guys i really made it y'all like i dead made it i made the whole build and then i made the new one because i'm like i gotta adjust but this is what it is 87 driving layup for the lebron james layup package 83 standing dunk now this 83 standing dunk 
I'm not gonna lie, is a big difference compared to the 73 standing dunk. With the 83, I don't think it really matters what player is next to me. As long as I get positioning, I could get that standing dunk. But you can see the main difference is that with this Hall of Fame bulldozer version, it has a 91 steal, 87 ball handle, and an 85 three-point shot. Me personally, if I could do this build again with Hall of Fame bulldozer, this is the best thing that I could come up with, like a similar build to my actual build that has Hall of Fame bulldozer. And you could kind of see that like the Hall of Fame bulldozer just isn't really as worth it because you could see you don't have as high as perimeter defense um the standing dunk i'm vouching for the 83 standing dunk i do like that but the hall of fame bulldozer just doesn't make sense because you're not gonna go for it as much to be quite honest you might as well go with the gold bulldozer because more than likely you're gonna try and get the animation on somebody that's little anyways now we're gonna get into my live gameplay for my youtube stream if you guys ever want to pull up i usually try to start my stream around 7 to 7 45 p.m eastern standard time 7 2 xbox um his strength is bad okay see i know we going right to the cup with it no strength we like that 7 2 and no strength it's baby food i don't need to do no guard work he little 7 2 nothing he little But yeah, he know I could shoot. He respect it. Quick stop. Greeny in a midi. You know I'm hitting that. Oh, oh my gosh. Anybody that wants to play me, join through my PSN. My stage is open. Y'all trying to play me. Oh, it ain't, it ain't L2 cancel. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all see the sauce? Oh, I'm ass. I'm ass. My fool, y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm trash. I'm trash. I didn't think I was going to get that open, for real. He got to be able to shoot since his strength is low. What? Oh, Lord. This might be an offensive juggernaut right here. It's, this the Wemby right here. Oh, Lord. Oh, step back. I like it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How long that's going to happen, though? Oh, Lord. Step back. Nah, I'm there. He's not making that one. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm not that much of a baby. Nah, Wemby. You little Wemby. Wemby, you little Wemby. Why did it step away from the basket? Like, I'm drop stepping to the right. Give me a clamps. Yup. Yup. You're 7'2". You, you shouldn't be dribbling that long. Let me put my hands up. Because <clears throat> he could shoot over me. I know he got good enough mid-range nah 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 yo okay cool it didn't do the move oh so he's little he's little he's little Nope. What the fuck? I've really just missed that. I've really just missed wide open, Hall of Fame open looks mid range. Yeah, bro. Hack me up. Yep. Good contest, me. Green. Alright, I could sit back now. Mm, that's a good step. <clears throat> Go dead auto. Post spin technician. Oh, bro, that is a travel. Yup, I knew it. Baited him. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Every time I join a new stage, I got to keep changing that. I be forgetting sometimes. He's going to reach. No, he's not. 
Yo, this post spin technician low key is like a a tough badge nobody knows about. Like when you when you do it to the same side, like it's like a like you get a crazy burst. That wasn't even a burst right there either. I hate my life. Oh my gosh. I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to do the snatch back spam and it gave me that hezzy. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yo. Nah. Yo, y'all seen that? Somebody went on a spot and closed app, y'all. Oh, give me that head. We gonna see. Ooh, I green that. Nah, that's tough. Ah, that's me. That's so me. That's me. That's a good reach right there. Oh, his shit doinky right now. He's gonna reach. Oh, yeah. I know your play style. I know when you're gonna reach. Come on. Oh, step through. Spin off. Hop step. Ah. Oh, he blocked me. Okay. Okay, KJ. He's green in that. Nah, him missing at three? He really missed that? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think he would have missed that. Yo, what is my player doing? Just got him in the air. Got him. Just in case I lose the ball. Because he got a yo-yo on him. Oh, he gonna reach. He's gonna reach. Ah. Oh my. Oh my. The, yo, the uh into the uh. Yo, the post fundamentals, bro. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> nah, I'm low key frying him. I'm low key frying him right now. Oh. Nah, if I'd have made that, I'd have been the best. That's how you cut him off, y'all. That's how you cut him off. That's how you cut him off. Oh, crab. On a 1v1 court. Nah, clip him. Clip him. Clip him. It's prop. His defense is probably trash. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this is a Hall of Fame bulldozer build. That's what it is. Green. Ooh. Nice build I got right here. Oh, that's that strength. I'm not going to lie. Damn. Good defense. That's a good defense. Green up. Good defense, me. That's why you need it. That's why you need interior, son. Or depending. What the bills for? Oh, oh, oh come in! Oh my gosh, it won! Oh nah, I violated. I violated. Hold on, I violated. You want me to shoot? I, I. That's a good no jump. Good no jump, but I got positioning. Wait. He don't got block. <laughs> Wait, watch out, bro. <laughs> you don't got no block. Let's find out right now. <laughs> Let's find out right now. Okay. He playing it different. He playing it different. He trying to get that cut off. Drop step. He got strength and one. Let me let me hit that lock take just in case you get this boy. Good defense. We hit though. We hit though. We hit though. We in that one stance. We in that stance. Step back. I called it out, y'all. I be calling it out. I be knowing. Oh, oh, oh. I almost went up with the rock. I got a little too happy. Early? Slightly early. Yeah, I know. Step back. Yup. 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 Yup, yeah, 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 we got him. Yo, yo, 
the chat. We can hit 10 likes, y'all. We had nine likes. I can get one more like, y'all. Hit that double digit. Oh. Ah. Ah, jab work. Jab work. Jab, jab work. Jab work. Jab, jab, jab work. Hold on. Jab work. Jab, jab work. Oh, spin off. Ah, it won. Hold on. Jab work. Jab, jab work. Jab, 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 jab work. Green. I gotta delete this game. Oh. oh, he quits? He quits? Now, if you're looking for a 3v3 or 5v5 version of this build, be sure to check out my last video.